<laughs> What's up, my friends? It is Brandon Osborne, aka Control for Days. We are back for another episode of Dr. Yogg's Clinic, where I show you the ropes with the deck Black Green Yogg Moth in Modern, teaching you how to navigate the matchup and be successful. We're jumping into this league match. I don't know what we're playing against right now. You do, uh, assuming you clicked on this video. And a quick point before we get started. The list that I'm running right now was uh, accidentally submitted for this league. This is not the list I intended to run in this league. Uh, so we're running uh, something that was very experimental about a month or two ago. And now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna finish this league out and you're gonna get to watch me do it. Uh, so the list has four innkeepers in it, zero wall roots, one hepatra. So I would say this is a suboptimal list, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. We won the die roll. We are on the play. Uh, opening seven is fine. It's not great, but we'll uh, we'll keep it. And we are we're currently 1-0 in this league. Um, so so far so good. We'll see see how it pans out. Uh, I'm gonna lead on inverting catacombs and just pass the turn. We're on the the beatdown plan plan this game. Okay, we'll see what our opponent is playing momentarily. Charles Jace Norman. I've definitely played against this person before. I don't know off the top of my head what they play though. Polluted Delta. If they do something like Thought Sees Us, that would be bad. <clears throat> All right, so we're thinking blue-red, which seems to be a popular choice uh, as of recently. I'm fetching basic there just in case a blood moon shows up. Uh, so we're playing around that. And evolution is not great in this matchup. It's not a card we really want to see in our opening or really at any point, just because their ability to counter things uh, is, I mean, they have so many ways to do that. So, not ideal, but take what you can get. The fact we have two Court of Callings in our hand is actually really good. Um, so here, I'm just gonna stay back on defense. I'm gonna let them tap out and then I'll cord for a Young Wolf. And that will give us more options on the following turn where again if they don't counter this we'll be able to cord for an endurance or um, a grist on the following turn so that is the game plan okay uh, they're bolting there and I think now that they're bolting I'm going to take this opportunity no, no, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on the cord just so if they do want to do something, um, they've got to do it on their turn. So I'm assuming they have another bolt iteration. Um, yeah, we'll take this opportunity to cord now. ourselves a young wolf and then if the the geist survives we're going to be uh, getting an endurance I think I think that's the move we might even Evo into it I mean the card we have to pay attention to is spell pierce so that's what we're looking looking out for we'll see if they have one Their graveyard, so we're going to take a hit for three this turn. <clears throat> Alright, and that's actually good that they popped the bauble now, um, which means that we don't have to uh, like, for instance, if we cast endurance, it gets both of the baubles, it, so they won't be able to like refill their graveyard as quickly which is good. <clears throat> okay, so we're not too upset about this. This is working out fine. Um, another evolution is not great. We're gonna lead with a hit for one. 
uh, chip, to chip them down a little bit. We've got five cards in hand. Evo away this wolf. We could also get a Grist, but I think Endurance is just the call here. Really, really want to regulate their graveyard. Uh, so they can't cast it any Merc Tide on their turn. They'll be able to fill it up fairly quickly. Um, but just got to keep it in check while you can. There's another Bauble, so that will fill it up quickly. Interesting they're doing this pre-combat. Unless they have another Unholy Heat. In which case that would make a little more sense. My dog always likes coming in the room when I'm recording, so he just just joined us. No attack. And a pass of the turn. So they're likely leaving up a um a what you call it? A counter spell, which is fine. Um, I think we're gonna play into it. We'll play out the young wolf, and if they choose to counter it, that's not a big deal for us. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna pass the turn. Not rushing anything. If they tap out, we're gonna get another endurance probably. And then uh, we'll start beating them down next turn. Consider is fine. <clears throat> Consider is so good for this deck, it fills up their graveyard so quickly. Alright, so they have four card types, so they kinda need to get rid of our endurance. now, which is fine. We're going to be able to get a Grist and then shoot it down and then start beating them. Yeah, we're in, we're in a really good spot right now. I don't think... We could also just get Hepatra and then just mow down their board. It will put us at a fairly low life total. We'll lose six. <clears throat> we might not even need, I wonder if we can just win from here. So if we get a Geist. Yeah, we can just Evo the Geist, get a Yawgmoth, draw until we find a land, and then we'll be able to kill them. So I think we're gonna do that actually. Okay, so there's our land. I actually didn't even need to fetch. That was a mistake. All right, we'll play out the Blood Artist. Hopefully they see the writing on the wall here and they just scoop them up, and they do. Okay. Yeah, so that was, that was interesting in that I was going to get a card to get rid of the Merc Tide and I actually just had the win, so I didn't need to do that. All right, so sideboard, this is not my preferred sideboard right now. Uh, this is a little bit different, but I think it's fine. Uh, so we'll bring in these six cards. We're cutting all of the Evos. Uh, we're gonna cut, I think we're gonna shave on an innkeeper or two. I think walls are probably better in this matchup, but kind of take what we can get here. I don't know if Hepatra is great. I feel like we'll shave Hepatra. And then an ignoble. Generally, I'll keep in birds in this matchup as opposed to ignobles because they chump block. Uh, so if need be, we have that. Uh, we'll submit.
opening seven. Seems reasonable, we'll keep it. Wrist is good, I would love an instant speed threat, I would love an endurance, but can't win them all. So their best play is turn one, Dragon's Rage, as you may be aware of. If you've watched our past videos, they don't have it, or they've sequenced terribly, uh, which I don't think is the case. <clears throat> So, based on the fact they didn't turn turn one a um, a dragon's rage, I'd say we're okay here. All right, so they like the card on top. They kept it. Another bauble. <clears throat> So they might be on like the Turbo Merc Tide plan here. Can you imagine how much different this game would have panned out had they had a turn one uh, Dragon's Rage? They would have like five or six cards in their graveyard already. So it would have been significantly different. Thought Seize is pretty good. <laughs> I guess the question is, do I Thought Seize? Or do I beta counterspell and then try to thought seize next turn? Like ignoble, if I cast that, it's just gonna bite the dust. So I don't know if that's what I want to do. I think I probably play out the innkeeper and then try to go thought seize into Gris next turn. They might just let the innkeeper resolve and then just bolt it. Um, and I guess the question is, do I do that pre-combat or post-combat? Card I'm most concerned about surprisingly right now is Ragavan. Um, like if I attack and they, they dash in a Ragavan, that could be really bad for me. <laughs> but I'm making the assumption that they boarded out most of the Ragavans, if not all of them. Uh, we'll shock. They might just counter this for the sake of efficiency with their mana. Or they might say, hey, we have a counter spell, let's save it for a better threat because we can just bolt this thing. But it does ramp me, so <clears throat> looks like they're gonna counter it. All right, in true control for days fashion, we just disconnected, we are back. We're seeing if our Prosperous Innkeeper is going to resolve, which it does not seem like it will be, which is fine. We're okay with that. We will pass the turn. So they have the ability to cast a Mark Tide right now. We'll see if they take advantage. They do, and unfortunately for them, Grist is going to do work. That's a pretty good draw. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna fetch another basic here. I think we're fine with that. I think we'll find our second black source eventually. I say that now, that's probably foreshadowing. I'm never gonna find another black source this whole game. All right, so we struck that down, which is big game for us. They didn't play a land on their last turn either, so they're in a bit of trouble, I think. <laughs> they need to get rid of this Grist. And the Young Wolf is actually a reasonable threat as well. And now we have an instant speed threat in Endurance. All right, so there's, there's the Unholy Heat. They're working their way back up towards uh, Delirium. Is that what it's called? I think. Ooze is actually really good too. Um, if they have a lightning bolt, they'll be able to get rid of it. But I think we just, I think we just swing, and I think we get our grist out. And then still having access to this thought seize, we'll just clear the way for something in future turns. Actually, wouldn't even be surprised if they just scoop. Like they're so far behind, and they do. Okay. So they stalled on mana, but I think our, our hands lined up really well. 
no turn one Dragon's Rage means no win for them. That's just the bottom line when it comes to this matchup. That's really, from my experience, the only way they have a shot is just getting that Dragon's Rage out turn one. So if you've seen this matchup play out a couple of times, I think we are pretty heavily favored in it. Um, you know, I've talked about it in past videos, after my initial 0-7 start against this deck, I want to say I'm like 80% and just like kind of you figure out how to navigate the matchup and then it just it feels almost like a buy at that point um yeah play stuff at instant speed don't let them feed their graveyard interact with their graveyard at instant speed if you have the ability to it's all about managing their graveyard and if they don't fill it up um they're not gonna win that's just what it comes down to so pretty easy 2-0 um thank you for watching this video thank you for tuning in if you have not done so already, please subscribe. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. We're trying to build this channel so I can continue doing this, uh, spending some, what little free time I have producing content for you guys. So if you do enjoy it, please subscribe. It's a good way to let me know that you're enjoying the content. Give me a thumbs up. Just leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the matchup. Lines that I took that maybe you have questions about. Thoughts, concerns, short stories, whatever it might be. Uh, and also, um, I have a Patreon, uh, it's also a great way to support me. As you saw, we got disconnected during this match. I am in need of a new computer so I can better produce content. So if you wanna help me towards that goal of getting uh, a new computer, that's a great way to do it. And also, I have started to put together a Yawgmoth primer. The first two or three parts are already done. I'm in the middle of the third part as I film this video, but by the time you watch it, it might be up uh, and ready to go. So head over to the Patreon, check out the primer. It is free, none of my content is paywalled. So you can access that um, and hopefully it serves you well. There's also a sideboard guide in the description. There's two sideboard guides, one for your deck box, one that's extended that gives matchup tips and my stats uh, as always, so check those out. I'm done chatting, I'm done talking. I'll let you guys head your separate way. I appreciate you tuning in. This is Brandon Osborne, Control for Days. I will see you guys next time. Be well.